Welcome to Storytime. Today we'll be reading The Jesus Storybook Bible by Sally Lloyd-Jones. The illustrations are by Jago. Go grab your favorite snack and your favorite stuffed animal. And let's begin. Chapter 2, The Beginning, A Perfect Home In the beginning there was nothing, nothing to hear, nothing to feel, nothing to see, only emptiness and darkness and nothing but nothing. But God was there. And God had a wonderful plan. I'll take this emptiness, God said, and I'll fill it up. Out of the darkness, I'm going to make light. And out of the nothing, I'm going to make everything. Like a mommy bird flutters her wings over her eggs to help her babies hatch, God hovered over the deep, silent darkness. He was making life happen. God spoke. That's all. And whatever he said, it happened. God said, Hello, light. And light shone into the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, hello sea, hello sky, and a great space opened up, wide and deep and high. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, Hello, land. And there, splashing up through the oceans, came cliffs, mountains, sandy beaches. You're good, God said. And they were. Hello, trees, God said. Hello, grass and flowers. And everything everywhere burst into life. He made buds bud, shoots shoot, flowers flower. You're good, God said. And they were. Hello, stars, God said. Hello, sun. Hello, moon. And whizzing into the darkness came fiery globes spinning around and around, whirling orange and purple and golden planets. You're good, God said. And they were. Hello, birds, God said. And with a fluttering and flapping and chirping and singing, birds filled the skies. Hello, fish, God said. And with a darting and dashing and wiggling and splashing, fish filled the seas. You're good, God said. And they were. Then God said, Hello, animals. And everyone came out to play. The earth was filled with noisy noises growling and gobbling and snapping and snorting and happy scruffuffling. You're good, God said, and they were. God saw all that he had made, and he loved them, and they were lovely because he loved them. But God saved the best for last. From the beginning, God had a shining dream in his heart. He would make people to share his forever happiness. 
They would be his children, and the world would be their perfect home. So God breathed life into Adam and Eve. When they opened their eyes, the first thing they ever saw was God's face. And when God saw them, he was like a new dad. You look like me, he said. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever made. God loved them with all of his heart. And they were lovely because he loved them. And Adam and Eve joined in the song of the stars and the streams and the wind and the trees. The wonderful song of love to the one who made them. Their hearts were filled with happiness and nothing ever made them sad or lonely or sick or afraid. God looked at everything he had made. Perfect, he said, and it was. But all the stars and the mountains and oceans and galaxies and everything were nothing compared to how much God loved his children. He would move heaven and earth to be near them, always. Whatever happened, whatever it cost him, he would always love them. And so it was that the wonderful love story began. Thank you for joining us today for this story time. See you next time for chapter three of the Jesus Storybook Bible.